Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Race season is upon us. Get in that garage, go do some work, whatever you're doing. Planes, trains, automobiles, have fun with it. That's the uh, primary focus of being a car guy. So what we're going to talk about today is just a brief subject. One of the viewers was asking about PID control and boost and why typically most boost control is actually PI, very little derivative. So I didn't spend a ton of time testing it to really try to make it work, but I want to show you a quick, this is what happens, why you might not want to do it. So let's switch to the data. Of course, we're going to go to the Infinity software. This is a car we recently did a tuning profile on. It's a Turbo S2000 using a standard Mac solenoid and using something that I feel is really dialed. It came from Bo Brown, who used to be at AEM. I think he's working for a Porsche team. So big shout out to Bo. Great guy. Knows a lot. Knows a lot about the AEM. So he came up with these particular PID settings that you can see right here. 0.13 for proportional, 0.280 for the integral, and a derivative of only 0.008. So the question is, why don't you use a lot of derivative as a hook to stop the function? Now, you certainly could do this. Uh, it will take a little bit to dial in, but if you're not careful, you're probably going to do what I did and you're going to give up. Because when you look at this particular car, when you see the boost target there is 190 and it's creeping up, and now all of a sudden the boost target's 200, the manifold pressure 196. You can see that the feedback is going from nine, nine and a half. I was on the low side, so it's adding in. It starts to steadily drop. Now we're down into the sixes and the fives and the fours and maybe a little bit of boost creep. So the feedback is starting to lower itself down right here. Hopefully you've been seeing that. If not, back up, watch it again. You can see that it's adding 2.7% to our base of 30. 32.7 and by the time we get out at the top it really hasn't changed too much so now we're going to switch run files and we're going to have these numbers moved around a little bit so you can see what happens so let's do that right now okay so now if we look at the values like i said i didn't spend a bunch of time experimenting so I'm not saying it won't work, but I wanted to kind of be dramatic on why derivative can be a pain. So same 130 for proportional, but I flipped the integral and the derivative. Now that's not exactly how you should do this. I know from ignition timing, I set the derivative to like 0.1, but you can kind of see what the feedback was doing here. All of a sudden it is just seismic is the, the best way I can describe it. It's just moving all over the place. So boost target is 190 kPa. I'm 155 currently. It's pulling 12%. Like it's killing what I'm trying to do right now. And then you're going to get to spots where all of a sudden it adds a ton. Now it's adding 30%. And then as that moves, I'll just go real slow here. It, it starts to, oh, let me not scroll, and just that fast, it goes to negative 35, positive 25, 24, negative 2.7. It just really starts seesawing. Now, is it something that I could have fixed and made better? Certainly. But at that point, one of the reasons I don't really truly do that is derivative is going to be your future value, is trying to predict is the explanation I was given a long time ago. It's past, present, and future. So when you are making corrections on what you think you might do, you overshoot really, really easy. So a little a little derivative is good because it, it can look at the, the length of what's been going on and kind of develop a, a little bit closer adjustment uh, for your PID speed. But in my experience, I just haven't been able to make a lot of derivative work Maybe it's something I should start with that to begin with. It's certainly a, 
one thought, but because I don't like making unnecessary pulls on most people's motors uh, that might be at the edge anyway, um, and certainly my own, um, I tend to leave that alone for the most part. We'll have to find a lower powered turbo car where I, I'm not going to be too concerned about it and maybe I got to make 25 pulls. But for the most part, you kind of see what's going on. We have a definite problem when there's too much derivative. So it was a great question. It's something I'm going to come back to. I want to do an entire episode on PIDs in general. If that's something that you guys want to see, please comment below. Uh, it doesn't have to be mystery. I'm sure that Andre and crew at HP Academy have covered it. If not, I'm sure they will. Um, I want to, you know, kind of go over some of the what you're going to see and why you're going to see it. Maybe introduce the, the normal values I, I use one at a time so you can see the difference in feedback. We'll come up with an idea. But anyway, guys, I hope everybody's doing good. We'll talk to you later. Bye. If that content is something that you like, please consider giving me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. Definitely leave comments for positive, negative. Let, let me know where I can improve, what you guys want to see in the future. It just helps the channel and it helps get you the content that you want. If possibly you have a friend or a community group that can benefit from content like this, Please consider sharing it with them, Facebook, Instagram, wherever you want to go. Lastly, if you want notified as new content is added, simply click on the bell icon and YouTube will do that for you. Thanks again, guys. Take care.